All right, hello, and welcome to Genetic Diseases of the Horse. All right, so we're going to start off with severe combined immunodeficiency. This is a failure of the immune system to form. Animals die pretty quickly after birth of infections. Uh, it is a disease of Arabians and part Arabian horses. Uh, it is transmitted as autosomal recessive uh, and is caused by the mutation of a single gene. Next we have hyperkalemic periodic paralysis, also known as HYPP. It is a defect in the movement of sodium and potassium in and out of muscle. Animals immediately have attacks of muscle weakness and or tremors and collapse. It is a disease of quarter horses uh, transmitted as autosomal dominant and it involves one particular gene um, and they're all uh, based around descendants of the stallion impressive which is uh, in that picture above. Next we have myotonic dystrophy uh, which is where spasms occur in various muscles. Lethal white foal syndrome. Uh, it is the failure of certain types of nerves in the intestinal tract. Foals die of colic several days after birth. Um, affects some offspring produced by mating two Avero pink horses um, and involves several different genes. So, hereditary multiple extosis. Uh, this is when bony lumps develop on various bones throughout the body. So not particularly life-threatening, but sort of a uh, genetic disease blemish. Cerebellar, um, excuse me, yeah, cerebellar ataxia. Degeneration of specific cells in the cerebellum of the brain causes incoordination. Hemophilia A. This is the failure to produce blood clotting factor uh, causing bleeding into joints and development of hematomas. It is a disease of thoroughbreds, quarter horses, Arabians, and standard breads and is transmitted as X-linked. Next, we have laryngeal hemiplegia, which is paralysis of the muscles that move the cartilages in the larynx, which causes noises in the throat with exercise. Next, we have gonadal diagenesis. Animals tend to be small and weak at birth, show disorders of the reproductive system, mares are sterile. Uh, this is the present caused by the presence of a single X chromosome in a female, caused by failure of the X chromosome to separate after duplication. Hydrocephalus, which is the accumulation of fluid with compartments of the brain, resulting results crushing of the brain. Um, so hydrocephalus, also known as um, waterhead. Neonatal isoerythrolysis, a hemolytic disease of the newborn, uh, falls red blood cells destroyed by antibodies in mare's colostrum, results in anemia and sometimes death. Genetic makeup of animal predisposes to disease. The underlying basis is incompatibility in blood type between the mare, the foal, and the foal's sire. Uh, hereditary equine regional dermal asthenia, also known as HERDA. It is characterized by hyperextensible skin, scarring, and severe lesions along the back of affected horses. Uh, affected foals rarely show symptoms at birth. The condition typically occurs at the age of two, most notably when the horse is first being broke to saddle. 
is predominantly found in the American Quarter Horse. Uh, within the breed, the disease is prevalent in particular lines of cutting horses. Epitheliogenesis imperfecta. Skin fails to form over parts of the body or in the mouth. And finally, cataracts. Yes, cataracts is a genetic condition. Uh, cloudiness of the lens and the eye, which results in blindness. And there you have the genetic diseases of the horse.